Hello and welcome to a Node-RED Contrib Flex Radio video on using the Discovery node to create a simple Discovery dashboard. My name is Stephen Hauser, November 1 Sierra Hotel. Let's jump right in and get started. I've got a fresh install of Node-RED here with the Node-RED Flex Radio nodes already installed, version 0.78, hopefully your version is newer, and the Node-RED dashboard nodes that we're going to use for creating a user interface. It's going to be a very simple dashboard. We're going to start off with the discovery node, which we went over in the overview video, and we're going to add a debug node to that. That debug node is just going to show us what the message payloads for new radio advertisements are. Now, I don't want to show this directly because this includes some potentially sensitive information about my radio, including its serial number. So I'm going to change the serial number to just hide me. I'm also going to add into here to change the radio license ID that comes across this to the same thing. I don't know how sensitive this information is, but it's better to be safe than sorry here. So I go ahead and I deploy this flow, and if I look on my debug tab, I can see my radio advertising itself. These advertisements come in quite frequently from the radio when it's turned on. And as we can see, there's a plethora of information that the radio provides for us. I'll disable that debug node for a minute so we can take a look at one of these without it scrolling across the screen. Now, I don't have any clients connected to my radio right now. I'm actually going to start one up because it's going to take a while for it to load. But what we can see here is that we get some very useful information that would be nice to display. Stuff like my model number, the nickname I've given the radio, the version number of the software, the radio status, the call sign, and later on we're going to use down here the GUI client stations that are connected. So let's go ahead and start building a dashboard from this information. I'm going to use these dashboard nodes down here at the bottom. In particular, I'm going to use the text node in a number of instances. I'm going to wire this text node, text node directly to the discovery, and I'm going to use my radio nickname for this. So nickname and the message.payload.nickname. And I, I will have to configure the user interface for this, and there's two parts to that. The first is a user interface group, which I'm going to create, and I'm going to call Discovery. And then that's going to show up on a tab on the user interface. And that tab I'm going to call Flex Radio Dashboard. Now I go ahead and I click Add, Add, and I am done configuring this node. So now I can go ahead and deploy my nodes, and then go look at what dashboard was generated. To get to the dashboard, you can use this little down arrow and pick the dashboard and use this little sharing type icon. That will open up a new tab right to your dashboard. And here you can see I've got my dashboard with the nickname. So I want to add a few more items to this, and this is as easy as adding additional text nodes and using the information that we get from these discovery packets. So let's go ahead and drop a few more on here. Let's get our model number, our version number, and maybe the status of the radio which currently we can see that that status shows as available. So let's, we've got our nickname. Let's go with our model. And then in here, we just simply put in dot model and version. Some of this might not be information you need. It might be information that you like to see. Status we're going to use to make a little bit more complexity with our dashboard. So. This one will be a good one to have in here. So I'll go ahead and deploy, change right back over to my dashboard, and you can see this information has gotten populated. What I want to do here is the status shows as available. When I turn the radio off, the status should go off, and this other information should go away. So what I want to do is I want to add a configuration in here that will take care of that for me. To do that, I'm going to use the trigger node from Node Red. This trigger node is really nice in that what it does is, I'm going to wire it in between all of these nodes. What it does is that if, it's, if it hears a message from the discovery packet, then it will forward it along to its output. So I want it to forward out to the output of all of these when it gets an, when it gets an announcement from a radio. And then if it doesn't hear one of, those note, one of those messages within some period of time, it will send along its own message. So normally, it will send along the existing message object, and then it will wait for, and let's go with five seconds. So if it doesn't hear anything in five seconds, then I'm going to have it send along my own special JSON packet that has status of off. So this way, if it doesn't hear any messages, any discovery messages for five seconds, 
it will send off and that will make the status show as off and these other fields will end up blank. So let's go ahead and deploy that. Change back over to the dashboard. Doesn't look any different right now. I'm going to go ahead and turn my radio off and you'll see that this changes. There we go. So now our dashboard represents the state of the radio when it's off as well as when it's on. I want to change this around a little bit more and what I'm going to do is I'm going to restart my radio. It's going to take a little bit for that radio to start. I'll leave this uh, running over here so that we can see when it starts and then we can change back over to our dashboard and see that it has repopulated. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the radio on. Now I'm going to add a few additional things to my flow. When I first start up Node Red, the radio might be off and not generating discovery packets. And rather than waiting five seconds to turn things off, I might want to make it seem like it's off right away. I can do that with an inject node, and I can inject here a JSON buffer of the same status of off. And I can tell that eject node to inject once after startup. So that way, when I first turn on node red, the radio will appear off until it gets its first discovery packets. Now my radio is coming up here shortly. We should start seeing, there we go. We see discovery packets showing up over here. So if I go back to the dashboard, you can see my radio is now once again available. Another thing that I might want to do that is very useful is as I go forward, well, let me add a few more nodes here first. I'm going to add a text node. And in this text node, I want to put in the GUI handles for other stations that are connected. Right now, I don't have any other stations connected. The GUI client stations is empty. So I'm going to copy that and I'm going to put stations. And then put GUI client stations. So this way, as other stations connect and disconnect from my radio, I'll see them here on my dashboard. So let me deploy that so that we can see it. And now this is waiting for the radio's first discovery message to come in in Node Red to get it. And you'll notice that I have no additional stations connected right now. I'm going to go ahead and start up the Maestro that's on the front panel of my radio. And then we'll see that start to appear shortly. While we're waiting for that to appear, I'm also going to make another change here. Is I'm going to put in a change node so that I can save some state information about the radio so that other flows within my node, inst my node red instance can know whether there's a radio up and operating or not. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set a global context variable to the uh, current message dot set global dot discovery to message dot payload. This will save the current discovery payload whether it be from that trigger node or from the radio itself, into a global variable called discovery. That way, other nodes within Node Red can know whether the radio is on or not and see the latest discovery packet for it. So my radio has restarted. The Maestro is up and running. So if I go back over to the dashboard, you'll be able to see that my Maestro is connected here. So this gives us a way that we can create a simple dashboard with these nodes here and to be able to get that directly from the discovery node. When the radio is off, these nodes show as off, and I can see other clients connected to it. I also can save some global state information about the radio and use it in other flows. So I hope this has been a useful video for you to show you how to use these flows to use the discovery node in your own flows. I'll see you in some other videos.